Hi, I'm Katie Lundy, and today I will be interviewing my mom, Kathleen Lundy, in order to determine what level of faith development she is. So our first question is, do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Why? Um, I know for absolute truth that um, the one who created us loves us, and that um, the only way to find peace is through him, um, and his ways are not our ways. So when we realize that what we've strived for has been of earthly origin rather than heavenly, um, we wish to change, and he helps lead us to himself. Do you believe in salvation? Definitely. Why? I believe that God's son Jesus, um, without question, sacrificed his life at the will of his Father to redeem us, and I do believe that our sins are forgiven um, when we acknowledge them, um, which we don't often choose to do. And I do believe that his death, um, through his love and through his death, uh, we are very capable of um, having our sins forgiven and uh, many graces are given at that time as well. Do you believe in the Eucharist? Without question. Why? When we receive communion, um, that is truly the flesh. People don't like to think of it that way, but it is truly the flesh of Jesus Christ. Um, it is what we need in order to be strengthened um, because what we experience in the world can be very tempting um, and I do believe also in the devil and I think that um, by through the sacraments we can help strengthen ourselves so that we are less susceptible or more aware. What do you believe the purpose of the Eucharist is? I think the purpose of the Eucharist, as I already said, is to strengthen us, but also it's a, it's a reminder, um, if you choose to look at it that way, of God's great love for us and um, the sacrifices that he made, and that um, I don't think, if you truly believe and you acknowledge, I think it's um, overwhelming to think that somebody could suffer. I can't even imagine the suffering that he suffered for us truly out of love. Do you believe in the power of prayer? Without question. Why? Because personally I have witnessed many miracles. Why do you pray to God? I pray to God for many reasons. I pray to God because uh, in prayer I truly find peace. I pray to God because I, I feel that without his help, um, I find it would be easy for me to delude myself into thinking I was doing um, well or doing things correctly when I really wouldn't be. Um, I believe in prayer because I do believe that it's through the prayer that we offer for others that their hearts can be open to grace. And once your heart is open to the graces that um, Jesus offers, um, things begin to change for those people. So I think the power of prayer is, is incredible. I believe that souls, once they leave this life, um, a huge and very important um, aspect of my belief is that once they leave, um, our prayers help them, help them in their journey, um, their alternate journey, um, to be cleansed and to be at peace and to reap the rewards of heaven by being with Jesus. Do you believe God hears and hears your prayer? Yes, only I pray very differently than I used to pray. Um, I think it was a very immature state. Can we stop for a minute to stop? Do you believe God hears and answers your prayers? Yes, I do. Why? Speak up louder. Um, I know He hears all prayers at all times. Um, and I do believe the prayers are answered 
before I used to pray in a very immature way, it would be, I would pray for specific things to happen uh, for people or for people to um, be healed of certain things, but very specific uh, with my mind, my intent. Um, I believe we don't know what's best for us, and neither do I know what's best for someone else. So um, I believe that, especially when we pray from our heart because we're concerned about someone's welfare or their situation, um, or just because we love them and we want what's best for them, um, I believe prayers can greatly um, alter situations um, so that uh, they come to a peaceful accord, but I also believe that prayers that I have prayed have been answered, uh, but maybe not the way I originally intended them to be so, because that would be my way. What I mean by that is he knows what's best, so I've learned to pray for people in a less detailed, specific way. I always pray for them and for their soul, and I ask that he does what will be best for them, and then... Um, it, to me, it's more meaningful that way.